Thank you for coming. It's great to have you here. It's lovely to be here. Although I will say, when you came out in this beautiful suit, I, for a moment, I thought, oh, I, oh, I've died. And the angel, <laughs> and the angel has come to take me. <laughs> well, that's what I was going for. <laughs> a sort of spearmint angel. Yes. I hate to break it to you, you have died. Oh, well. <laughs> and this is how it's going to go down. Hey, it could be worse than this, <laughs> that's for sure. You, did you work today? Did you shoot a show today? We didn't shoot did a not. show. I, I'm doing... I've just started on... I'm shooting a film at the minute, so we're not on our show today. I'll be back on the show Wednesday, Thursday, and then... And then we have guest hosts for a couple you of weeks. You are very busy. What film are you shooting right now? I'm about... I've just started a, a film called The Prom. It's a musical uh, written by... Uh, it's being directed by um, Ryan Murphy. Oh, and wow. It's, uh, me... Uh, Meryl Streep, Nicole Kidman, oh, they're very Andrew good. Rannells, <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Kerry Washington. Yeah, it's it's utterly wow. terrifying. It's a terrifying well, thing. Who do you play in this? I play a character called Barry, who uh, is a, a Broadway actor um, who's, you know, struggling with life at the moment. And that's, oh, OK. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's about. But Barry's it's, yeah, having trouble? I feel very... I feel utterly... Terrified because I've been, why well because I signed up to do it in like February, and then now and it's been really exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do sure. this film with Meryl Streep and yeah. Nicole Gimmon, and now I'm like, <laughs> like yeah. I just think, what am I doing? I already have a job. This I do this. <laughs> like this, I you know, I know this. how to do this. I've got this. <laughs> what am I doing this for? What but are you most really fearful? Lovely... What is the thing that's bothering you the most about this um, job? Well, Let's talk this through. Well. <laughs> There's a lot. I'm in lots of scenes with Meryl Streep, and that's always yes. terrifying, because, you know, I'm going to have to carry her in every scene. Mm -hmm. um, but my main worry is it's the first time I've ever done an American accent, so I'm playing an American, oh. and that is... Uh, that's, that's filling me with some fear. Now, when you say an American, that is not a preview... <laughs> that is not a preview of your American accent, is it? <laughs> yes, it was. That's okay. We need that's... to work on this. All right, me lovelies. I'm an American. <laughs> that's it, isn't it? That's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do you it. have like a coach, an accent coach? Uh, I've got an accent coach, and that's wonderful. But I would say my best accent coach is actually my son, my eight-year-old son. Oh, because he moved. Uh, here to America, obviously with us. He didn't move on his own. Um, <laughs> he didn't just say, Mum and Dad, I'm an amazing off. kid. No. He's really... <laughs> he sailed here on his own. Yeah. <laughs> no, so when we moved, he was three when we moved, and he has got this incredible thing where he talks in a British accent with me and my wife and an American accent with all of his buddies at school and his teachers, and between sentence to sentence. So he'll, like, go... Dad, can we go in the garden? And I go, yeah, of course, buddy. And he goes, Carrie, come on, let's go out in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like that. Is, how is that? So mainly, I'm just hanging around with him and hoping that it rubs off. Not only does he have an American accent, he has a California accent. It sounds oh, like. Oh, complete. Oh, my daughter who moved here when she's 12 weeks old. She's the most Californian. She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> she's five, and she's like, I'm going on a juice plant. <laughs> yeah. I'm <It's> gluten-free. <laughs> well, kids really invented the juice cleanse, didn't yeah, they? for sure, yeah. 100%. It came in a little box yeah, at that time. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been doing the Late Late Show now? How many seasons? We've been on we've been on the air four and a half years. Yeah, four and a half years. Yes, you uh, you do a great job with that show. Thank you. And obviously, everyone knows your breakout. I mean, you do a lot more than than just carpool karaoke. But you had uh, you did an episode, if you call it that, with yes. Kanye West. That That's right. Not yeah. in a car. No, we mm -hmm. went in an airplane. It was an airplane with his entire choir. And I'm very curious to know how that came to pass. How Why that happened. are you curious, Jimmy? Because I've been in the mix with Kanye, and I know that that sometimes that things go according to Kanye's plan. Mm. <laughs> Not God's plan, Kanye's plan. Yeah. <laughs> Complex fellow. Um, mm -hmm. Well, here's how it went. We, we had, this was actually the third time that we had tried to do a sort of carpool karaoke with Kanye. The first time he agreed and then he cancelled a few days later and you're like, oh, that's a shame, but it's fine. 
the second time that Kanye cancelled Carpool Karaoke was so late in the day that I was driving up his road <laughs> in the car <laughs> with all the cameras <laughs> and got this phone call saying it's been cancelled. And I literally, I think I basically turned around outside his house and drove <laughs> back to the studio. <laughs> so then, then, uh, then he just, he sent me a text I think he might have texted you around the same time. Did he send you a text saying, I want to do something with the choir on the show? Uh, yes, like and on he a called Saturday me Saturday well. afternoon. Yes, that's exactly right. So yeah. I th He's I just going through the J's in his phone, I guess. I think no. so. <laughs> He's like, what is it, a talk show? It starts with J. And, um, <laughs> and so, yeah, so he texts saying, could we do a carpool karaoke with the whole choir on, like, a bus or a truck in L.A.? And I said, uh, I said, yeah, of course, that would be amazing, you know. That would be great, yay. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, and he goes, cool, let's do it on Monday. And I was like, well, that's difficult <laughs> because we need to get a truck <laughs> uh -huh. and, like, permits. Logistics are not his thing to worry the about. The choir, I think, is 150 people. <laughs> like, this feels... And it's a Saturday afternoon. Right. But he goes, no, I think Monday would be great. I'm uh -huh. like... OK, all right. So I then set about, you know, I called Ben, our producer, I called Rob, or Josie, the people that work on the show, and we set about trying to make it happen. And then they're like, Monday's not going to happen. That was on the Sunday. <laughs> Monday's not going to happen. Wednesday. We're like, OK, this we can do. Great. We get permits, we do the thing, all the stuff. We are then get, trying to email people to find out, like, times and logistics, because obviously, like, as you know, we have a show that night. Uh-huh. We... nothing. We're hearing nothing from anyone. <laughs> Wednesday morning, 11 a.m., someone sends an email saying, it's not going to happen today. We were like, <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> it's not going to happen today. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then it went... And then, and then it went quiet. And then, and then... And this is where he's brilliant. This is where he's brilliant. He just then goes, I want to do it on an aeroplane. And we go, OK, uh, <laughs> great, yeah. But, you know, why not? Let's do it on a spaceship. That'd be great. <laughs> and to his credit, to his credit, he and he his always team comes through in the end. gets the plane. <laughs> Even when I was driving there, I was on the phone to my dad, telling my dad what we are about to do, and my dad was like, this is incredible, and I was like... It could be, but I'm still... Even as I walked onto the plane, I thought at some point someone's going to go, yeah, no, it's not going to happen today. We're going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> and, and there he was, and I have to say, of all the things we've done on the show, uh, and, and I, I consider so many things we've done to have been, have been an absolute privilege, like being on that plane, surrounded by that choir, sitting with him, and, and he was in a great place and in the best mood, I will never, ever forget what that choir sounded like on that aeroplane. It was an astonishing thing, and I really thought, this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing that I'll never, ever be able to... to I'll, I'll never, ever forget it. It did, was an incredible moment. Did you turn your life over to Jesus? <laughs> Do you know what? I was close. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it, but... Come I was close. James Corden is here. He's in Cats. We'll be right back. James Corden is here. He is in the movie Cats. You mm. are... I have a still of you as one of the cats. Mm. And... <laughs> was it... Be honest. Was this a nightmare to get into this hair and all of this no, stuff? No, no, no. You're... you're not, this is all uh, computer-generated. So every single piece of fur is added by a computer. It, it's technology that's never, ever been used in a film before. I don't believe it. Is your beard real? This is real. That's real. Well, yeah. how am I supposed to know which is which? Well, is that really all computer Everything. Generated? So when you shoot wow. the film, all you have, you have a computer sort of band around your head, you have dots all over your face, and then I was in, like, a huge um, sort of... Really, because my cat's a very, very fat cat, and as you can tell, I'm incredibly in shape. So <laughs> they... Uh, I was in a big sort of round... Uh, CGI suit that's also covered in dots. Uh -huh. And then under that, you have a suit with these computers. So sometimes there were, like, 50 people in a shot, all being cats, all just with dots all over them, and then everything's being boomed, beamed 
to 50 computers, and then they add all the fur, the ears, the tail, everything. It's quite extraordinary. It sounds unbelievable that they could do that. It seems like almost like you didn't even need to be in the movie, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly one way of looking like at it, You could have Jim. been at yeah. home while they put you in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a weird... Look, the whole thing... I, I mean, I have to say, I had the, the as good a sort of 10 days work as I've ever enjoyed, like, being with Tom Hooper and everybody I, who directed the movie. I, I just loved it. But we had, like, one day which was me, Taylor Swift, Rebel Wilson, Idris Elba, Sir Ian McKellen and Judy Dench all shooting a scene together. Now, that in itself is quite extraordinary. Yeah. Then when you add the layer of everybody pretending to be a cat, <laughs> you really can't help but feel you're on some kind of hallucinogenic... <laughs> ..show where you're, like, looking at Judy Dench and she's like... And you're like, this is... Cos <laughs> she doesn't usually do that. You're like, you really think for a long time, man, are we being punked? Is this real? May I ask you about another thing? Yeah. Uh, Gavin and Stacey, this is the show that you... really made you famous in the UK. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. And that show went off the air in, what, 2010? Uh, my friend Ruth uh, Jones and I, we wrote the show, yeah, uh, about 15 years ago, so it finished in 2010. And, and now we're... you have a reunion special that's set to yeah. air on Christmas Day. That's right. And it's, uh, it's, you put it up, it got like three million views for the trailer immediately, and this is weird because it's something we don't really know about here, even though we know you. I know. It's a, well, that's what I'm, a lot of America doesn't understand, is there's lots of other countries. Oh. Um, <laughs> they're all awesome. doing, like, stuff. And they have their own shapes. It's an amazing... <laughs> I sometimes have to remind the teachers in my son's school, like, you know there's other stuff going on. Like, we don't like, want to know about it. You've got your president, he's not great. We've got a prime minister, he's an idiot. Like, it's difficult, you know. Are you going home for the holidays? Yeah, we'll be going back home for Christmas, yeah. Oh, you so will be there for the big... I'll get uh... to watch the show, yeah, yeah and if, if people hate it, I'll get out as soon as I can. Well, it's great <laughs> to have you here. James Corden, everybody. Go see him in Cats, so December 20th, and as soon as our show is over. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season in a fun way. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. Or watch another gaming video and don't help kids. It's up to you.